What it do, what it do, what it do, what it do. It's your boy Roy back at it again with another episode of the Preaching the Birds podcast. We're going to talk to you about some breaking, breaking, sad, hellacious news. Just, just, I don't even know what hellacious means, but I got to say stuff that sounds bad. All right. So look, the Eagles are reportedly really, really interested in trading the sign Reddick. I predicted this weeks ago. I predicted this almost a month ago simply because we, we can't pay. We couldn't pay all the people that we wanted to the way Howie Roseman likes to build a team. So what I said weeks ago is that Howie Roseman likes to spend money in our offense and build the defense cheap. You can see that evidence by how we, you know, signed Jalen Hurts, Dallas Goddard. We're trying to get a deal for Smitty. We just got a deal done for Landon Dickerson. All these players on the offensive side, we just signed Saquon Barkley to a deal. We don't like to spend that much money on the defense and especially on 30-year-old players. For whatever reason, Howie Roseman is feeling a type of way since we signed, you know, uh, Darius Slay and James Bradbury, which I already said a long time ago was a bad idea to sign two 30-year-old cornerbacks to deals. Anyways, enough of what I told you so. Let's get into the video, though. So today on the Preaching the Birds podcast, we're going to talk about rep potential replacements because players, unfortunately, are probably going to need to be replaced. Um, we And we're going to talk about the potential DNs that, you know, might be replacing Hassan Reddick. So, yeah, if you haven't heard the news, trades, trade talks are heating up with the Arizona Cardinals, and the Atlanta Falcons. So the Arizona Cardinals have about 43, sorry, the Arizona Cardinals have picked 37, and I believe the, I believe the Atlanta Falcons have picked 43. We're not going to get a first, first round pick, so these are the picks that I'm, I'm showing y'all, or I'm telling y'all about. Correction, correction. The Arizona Cardinals have picked 35, and the, the the Atlanta Falcons have picked 43. So, with that being said, we're going to go over five players. These are my top five. I can't even say these niggas are in order. But these are the top five DNs or pass rushers that I've seen, right? The first four, honestly, you could it's a toss-up, bro. Like, I can't, I can't tell you which one I'd like. It, to be honest, they're all scary. They're all going to be amazing players if they get in the right situations but number one chop robinson dual born at 14 pounds used to call himself pork chop the man is just explosive the man is a myth the man is going to be a legend i'm hoping how we decide to draft him with pick 22 if you know we have the opportunity to do that the next person on the list is jared verse Jerry Verse has freakishly long athletic arms. He's really quick, really powerful. I love his stab move. Dude is amazing, boy. Number three is Latu Latu. Honestly, Latu Latu, from my perspective, is the best DN out of all the all the people. I just gotta I gotta keep it a bean, gotta keep it a stack. Like he's not as explosive as the other two players, though. He's just not as explosive as the other two players by a small margin. But I'll tell you this, he has the best hands. He has the best moves. He's the most complete out of those two players, or out of these three players that I've already mentioned. Number four, Braylon Trice. He might be my favorite guy. He's a little bit slower, but he's big. He's big. He's about like 265, 275. Strong. Got some moves too. I would be cool with Braylon Trice at 37 or 45. Or 35 and 43, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 mm. Those, those are some dudes we can build with. And, and the last player on the list, somebody who's not even really mentioned, bro. Not even mentioned. But it's cool, though, because I'm a mention in four of He's an Ellis brother. I think his name is Jordan Ellis. The dude has moves. He's fast. He's plays at... Wisconsin, we need to draft. I don't know why he wasn't invited to the uh to the to the senior bowl. I really don't. I don't know why he wasn't invited to, you know, the combine. I really don't understand why. Dude might turn out to be a player in the league. A player. He gives me vibes of the third round pick the Steelers got last year. Can't remember the boy's name, but he's a dog. 
Just trying to be 100. Just trying to be 100 for y'all, man. Give you all the, give you all the great, give you a sauce. Make everything saucy over here. But yeah, those are the five players that I'd be cool with, you know, uh, well, not cool. I don't really don't want to replace Hassan Reddick, but those are the five players I think the Eagles need to replace Hassan Reddick with if we decide to go on this stupid route. But hey, let me know how y'all think. That's all I really got for y'all today. I, you know, I, I'm sad. I'm saddened by the news that Howie Roseman is really doing what I thought he would do, which is, you know, go cheap on defense and, and sign these players on offense. But realistically speaking, you don't know what to do on offense because if you did, you would have ran DeAndre Swift more. And you're probably going to do the same thing with Saquon. I pray to God you don't, though. But all right, that's, I'm out.